How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to work on my 94 Toyota Celica and I'm planning to uh, change the fuel pump for my Toyota Celica to see if the uh, throttle response will respond better. All right, so this is the fuel pump. It's a Denso brand. Uh, I waited over two and a half weeks for these to arrive. It came all the way from the East Coast. And uh, I bought this at the junkyard as well because the one I have, uh, these tab here are broken off and it's not holding on to the shift boots. So I was just waiting out to see if I could find one that is not broken off. And luckily uh, in the past few weeks, I went to the junkyard and I found one that is not broken off. Uh, the color is kind of a little faded out, but then I can use like, you know, like some, some nice paint just to uh, respray it to get that shine out. And don't mind the rice cooker, you know, we're Asian, we're gonna have like an extra rice cooker laying around the house just in case you might need it. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, try to saw this view point right here. like this to remove this out of the way try to see I could pull this hose off and this right here I'm gonna use a uh, WD-40 to spray this you know just to uh, loosen that up I'm gonna let it sit for a while and we'll go from there Loose. I just have to uh, try to see if I can pull it off. Oh, there you go. It's sliding back and forth. It's coming off. All right, so before we get started to uh, remove this fuel line here, you need a uh, 14 millimeter and a 19 millimeter. Make sure to get these wrenches so you don't strip it. So 19 goes here and 14 goes here. So about 15 minutes later, I am back for my test drive. My car is running way better than before. So I'm thinking that it is a faulty uh, fuel pump filter because the old filter was really dirty. This new one 
uh, definitely bring out those few more into the engine. Uh, my engine doesn't have that low idle anymore. The uh, throttle was on way better than before. Um, it's lacking a little bit of torque. Maybe the clutch might be worn out that needs to be changed later. So other than that, my car and drive just fine. Uh, after driving my 6th gen with the uh, 3S GTE swap, this 5 feature is really slow. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for my video. I'm gonna wrap it up. If you guys like this video, give me a thumb up. If you'd like to see more of these content, subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a good day.